Okay. So a lot of people ask me how, uh, you know, I get construction costs so low. Uh, my, I try to keep my price per square foot around a hundred bucks. I, uh, and a lot of people, the going rate in my market is around 150 to 180. And, uh, that's with, uh, the last build I did, you know, it had granite countertops, had really good lighting. My wife picked out on Amazon. So, uh, this won't be the most exciting, uh, video, but I thought it'd be super helpful just to go through, uh, and just figure out ways to kind of cut cost. Uh, I will say, and I'll try to address each one specifically, but I have not done every single thing I recommend here, but it's ways for you to uh, dramatically reduce your build cost. So first one here, plans and specs. Uh, oh, there's free plans online. Uh, Habitat for Humanity has some free plans. I have some free plans uh, that I give people in my mastermind. And, uh, but the builder usually has free plans to provide. So that will save a couple thousand dollars. And with a lot of these, let me back up, you know, it's real easy, like, oh, it's just a thousand dollars or 2000, but you'll notice in building, there's like a hundred decisions to be made. And if obviously you save a thousand bucks on each of those decisions, it's a hundred grand. So, uh, you know, just, you really have to pay attention to your accounting and making sure you're, uh, just, you know, accounting for all the cost. So this is the only section I pretty much didn't uh, put anything for like imp uh, permits and fees because that's just is what it is. There's no discounts from the government from that. Okay, clear lot and rough grading. So this is something that you can easily do yourself. Uh, YouTube it and the good thing with doing this and digging your own footers, which is another uh, and excavation work is if you screw it up too bad, just hire a professional to fix it. And it probably won't be as much for them to fix it as if they just did the whole thing. So that can easily save five to $10,000 uh, for a bill uh, per build. So if obviously if you're building two at a time, which is what I recommend, that's 10 to $20,000 in savings. Okay. Uh, your surveyor. <laughs> That's again, another one that I, uh, good luck and just finding a surveyor that shows up and does timely work. Uh, sorry, I can't be optimistic about that. They're, they're in high demand right now with the construction, uh, excavation, septic hookup. That's another one that's going to be tough, but excavation, I just hit on that one and foundation. So again, Dig your own footers, I do recommend. However, uh, I do recommend obviously to hire uh, a concrete company and concrete pumpers to go in there and pour your footers. Don't recommend doing that yourself. You probably could, but uh, especially for like a simple single family house like I built. Um, and I uh, do recommend to hire a block crew because that's a, that's a pretty steep bill, but man, they do it and they're going to do it right and more efficiently. So they would save you a lot of time and uh, that's, and obviously you don't want that getting messed up. So that's how I recommend to kind of save cost there. You're digging your own footers, uh, but you hire out a block crew. So for rough framing, this is a big one is I actually recommend to just find a building supply company that accepts credit cards and doesn't accept a, doesn't charge you a credit card fee, you can uh, rack up some massive reward points on that or cash if that's what you prefer. So I recently had a friend that I was talking about building to, and he put it pretty pretty good. I thought says so like if this company charges the same price and this company charges the same price, but this company doesn't charge a credit card fee and you get reward points or cards, then it's not the same price. So I thought that was a pretty good way to look at it. And uh, so we take uh, my family and I take about a vacation, uh, at least one vacation a year, if not two, totally for free, totally because of just credit card points that uh, I use 
uh, buying building supplies on my credit card. Okay, uh, Windows, uh, I actually recommend to do that same thing with the credit cards, but also to buy ahead in bulk. So if you know you're gonna build two or four houses, just go ahead and you can negotiate a pretty good bulk discount on that. Same thing with doors. Uh, there's also a big window shortage right now. So if you're planning on building in the next three months, I hope you have your windows ordered already. Uh, roofing, same thing, use uh, with credit cards. So, so for roofing and siding, it's the same thing. You want to separate your material and your labor bill. So because you're usually able to buy the materials uh, with credit card without getting charged a fee from a building supply house. You're also, so you're able to save on that side. You're also able to save on the labor side by pricing out your labor separately. And uh, if you pay like that Friday in cash or check, you're able to negotiate a pretty good discount on that as well on your labor. So I just met with a Nashville builder and I asked, you know, like how much was flooring? And he just said five bucks a foot. And I said, well, how much was the materials? How much was the labor? And he didn't even know. He's like, oh, that's just what I pay. That's, you know, I just cut a check. So anyway, that's just one way to save on, on money from those things. So um, for gutters, you can actually design a house pretty easily uh, without having to use gutters, uh, extending the roof on. It may or may not make sense though uh, for that, but it doesn't, I, I see actually more and more houses, even bigger houses, million dollar houses that don't have gutters because they have a well-designed roof line. So look into that, it'll save you a couple thousand dollars. Uh, plumbing rough end. So what I like to find with plumbers and electricians and HVAC people is people that have left like a big company and are just starting out on their own because they've invested all this money in, you know, equipment, vans, they got employees and they need work. Like they need just to be working and they're going to price it aggressively to get the business. Uh, so all those plumbers, electricians, HVAC guys, love using them uh, when they've just left a big company and starting out on their own. Uh, it's usually like a win-win. You get good service and good pricing. So insulation. So my sister-in-law is amazing and she got, she got a quote. It was something crazy, like six, five or $6,000 to like blow in her attic or something. And uh, she did it and like, two hours. And that includes like picking up the machine at the building supply company, uh, blowing it, the attic herself, and then back. So you do have to have a helper with that. So a lot of times too, with insulation, if you just buy the insulation, you can, uh, from a building supply company, <clears throat> even I'm saying building supply house, but that's usually where the best prices are, but you can just go to Home Depot or Lowe's and they will let you use their blow, uh, insulation blowing machine for free. I highly recommend you just at least look at that uh, as an option. Uh, she saved, you know, oh, and she spent like less than a thousand dollars in material cost. So my sister-in-law made like five thousand dollars or saved five thousand dollars, basically paid herself that uh, for just blowing in a simple attic. Now that was for a remodel, new house, a little more complicated, uh, but I would still look at doing it yourself if you have time. It's one of those jobs, it's not fun, but you're going to save a couple thousand dollars. All right. Where are we? Insulation, drywall. Drywall is the same thing as like labor. And so I would price out the materials and labor separately. Again, to reiterate, buy the materials with the credit card. Don't get charged a credit card fee. And on the flip side, pay your labor in cash or check like the day it's done. And you can negotiate for quick payment, a good discount on that. Uh, for stairs, I avoid stairs at all costs, uh, just like garages. They're just big expense. Uh, for stairs, they take up square footage and it's not really usable. And for garage doors, you don't really get credit for an appraisal value for garages. So interior trim, same thing, building suppliers, credit cards, same thing with doors. Painting, you know, nobody really likes to paint, I don't think, but 
it's a, it's a huge bill when you're doing a whole house, you know, exterior and interior, the labor bill is huge. So you could rent a professional spray machine. Uh, this isn't housing related, but my neighbor, Johnny, uh, got a quote for like $4,000 to paint his fence. And he just went to Ace, bought a little hand sprayer and bought the paint and it took him like 45 minutes to paint his fence and you know like a 100 bucks in paint so he saved like three grand by doing it himself so that's just a small example of uh you know the prep work takes a lot of the time but uh it's a huge it's a huge bill so I, I recommend doing that yourself to save some money all right Appliances, we skipped cabinets, countertops. Again, that's one that I would look at doing it yourself, like making the cabinets, just put buying the boxes from Lowe's or Home Depot, putting them together yourself, saving that money. That's a big bill. For countertops, I recommend, so for what I did on my last build is I bought, I, uh, it's like my wife picked out seconds at this granite, countertop place uh, but if you want to save a lot of money you can use butcher block and uh, you can save a ton of money that way you can also just uh, for like your bathrooms you use like a vanity instead of cabinets so all that stuff saves a dramatic amount of cost um, appliances I would just price shop that aggressively I would not use used appliances though I'm not a fan usually pay for the repairs later. I get all my lighting pretty much from Amazon. I really like like that. I love how you can ship it directly to the house you're building. So that saves uh, a lot of time and money. <clears throat> uh, we went over plumbing, use a new plumber. Uh, get my plumbing fixtures from Amazon as well. So for flooring, definitely on the labor side, look at doing that yourself or price that out aggressively and uh, paying cash or check when it's done. Uh, also, you know, price that out with like a flooring wholesaler because you should, they run deals all the time. And uh, a lot of times they have special products for landlords. So you can get a lot better pricing than Home Depot or Lowe's with flooring, interestingly enough. Garage doors already touched on, but again, avoid those if possible because it's just like basement areas. You don't get credit for it in the appraisal, so don't do it. You're not, you know, it's just a cost. Uh, porch deck, patio, same thing. Avoid as much as possible. Driveways and walkways, avoid as much as possible. Landscaping, this is a super easy one to do yourself. Uh, get the plants wholesale just buy the seed throw some hay maybe and uh it'll save a ton of money i i'm always blown away by how much landscapers charge it's tough work but it's usually done in a day or two so that's pretty much it other do it yourself whatever that is um and so if you do all of that easily easily save twenty to forty thousand dollars in a build and that's your kind of how I'm able to build at $100 a square foot and everybody else is building at $150, $160 a square foot. I, let's see. There are things like roofing that you can do yourself. And it's not, you know, it's, I'm building these 1,100 square foot, four bedroom houses that are obviously that single story. The roofs are pretty flat. Uh, it's not that hard. But it's like a thousand, that is like one of the things that's like a thousand dollars that I, you know, outsource. I don't do myself. So uh, the other thing with roofing is to look at doing uh, a metal roof. If you're going to install it yourself, it's a lot easier to install, in my opinion, a metal roof than it is. The shingle is just a lot less material to deal with. And the metal roofs, get prefabricated uh, to your house plan. So it just shows up already pre-cut. You just put it on. So I'd recommend that. And um, 
the biggest things to do yourself to save a ton of money is the paint, butcher block countertops, the cabinets, and the dirt work. So I was going to do big three, but that was four. So uh, for the dirt work, I know you're thinking like, well, I don't have an excavator or anything like that. And that's where you just hire, uh, get a rental company and they'll deliver an excavator uh, for like a hundred bucks or a couple hundred dollars. And, you know, it's this nice new machine and do it all there. So uh, hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions or anything, please just comment or below uh like and subscribe this and like this and subscribe to the youtube channel and uh hopefully this was helpful uh if it's not let me know uh, if it was like it if if you have any questions hit me up thanks